Now you can see what an asset is worth today, spot, but what is it worth at a forward point in time? How would we go about pricing it? What's the thought process? Well, imagine you go down to the marina, you see a lovely boat bobbing up and down in the harbour. I mean, a really nice boat. And you think, oh, I'll have that. How much? A million euros. I mean, this is a really nice boat. So, okay, I'll take it. Oh, I can't. I'm tied up. How long are you tied up for? I'm tied up for the next six months. So I'll buy it in six months' time. Well, if you're selling the boat, what's going through your head? The boat, if you were to buy it now, would cost a million euros. But if you're not going to buy it for six months, I've got to keep it in the marina for another six months. So I have berthing costs, I have insurance costs, and interest costs, because maybe I have a mortgage on the boat and I bought money to buy it in the first place. Will the boat generate any income? Possibly. Maybe I could charter the boat out and have a bit of income coming back. So my forward price will be the spot price, plus the cost of storage or berthing, plus the cost of insurance, plus any funding cost, minus any income I can derive. So that's how I'm going to come up with my final figure. That's the forward price for you. Now, if you think about it when you look at commodities, forward prices should always be going up, shouldn't they? Because you will have storage costs, insurance costs and funding costs. But does a commodity like aluminium or lead or copper bring you any income? No. So why aren't forward prices always higher than spot prices? Now, if they are, then you say the curve is in contango, where the forward price is higher than the spot price. If the forward price is lower than the spot price, Maybe that's because the spot price has gone up. Well, why would that happen? It could be a shortage of supply. It could be their geopolitical reasons. It could be strife. It could be droughts, too much rainfall. It could be a variety of things that have forced the spot prices to go higher than forward prices. Or maybe the forward prices are lower because you're anticipating a lot of supply coming onto the market. So if that happens and the forward prices are lower than spot prices, you say the market is in backwardation. Thank you.